It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Box of Delight are with me. The legend himself, Adam Smith. Adam, great to see you. Uh, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Really good. Uh, happy to be here. Great to see Ben again and the guys from Boxer and my old Sky Sports family. Uh, really good. And working with Talk Sport this weekend. So, um, yeah, just great to be back around a, a big fight, which this is. A fight that I'm really interested in, having followed, obviously, like Fraser for many years through his time as a security guard, as a top amateur. And, and Fabio's incredible story from you know, white collar to, to this level. So it's a great fight. It's a, it's a big night. And uh, yeah, really excited to be back um, doing a few different projects and getting back into it um, after my illness. So yeah, really happy. Absolutely. I know we are short on time, so I'm going to fire through these questions as quick sure. as possible. Um, one thing that Dominic Ingle said was that when he was asked about the prediction of this fight, he feels that a white collar fighter, being a white collar fighter prepares you better for the pro game? That's an interesting way of looking at it. Um, I think a lot of great fighters have had amazing amateur pedigrees, um, but then there's fighters who haven't. I mean, my own bestie, Johnny Nelson, had 13 amateur fights, and we all know that. You know, won three and lost 10, and lost his first three pro fights, and froze against Carlos and Leon, and, and sort of worked from there, and was a product of the Ingle factory, and went on the road, and then came back, and was undefeated in years and became world champion, as we know, and a unbeaten cruiserweight king. So look, there's, there's different ways of going, whereas I look at Floyd Mayweather, a brilliant amateur, um, who's robbed, robbed of a, a, a shot at the gold in the Olympics, um, never beaten. Joe Calzaghe, brilliant amateur, three-weight ABA champion, should have gone to the Olympics, absolutely ridiculous that he didn't. Uh, never lost in his career. So I think, personally, I think an amateur pedigree is, is is very important, but it's not crucial. Two different sports, um, and there's many kickboxers and many fighters that have come from a limited amateur background who have uh, gone on to do really good things in, in the professional ranks. Um, and I think Fabio is just a, a shining example of somebody that's, uh, that's learning as he goes along, and look where he is now. Let's go back to last week, and again, I know we, we rushed for time, hence why I'm just going back to last week. Dalton Smith, fantastic performance. Yeah question now is, and the question on everyone's mind, does Adam Azim fight Dalton Smith? Should he fight Dalton Smith being the European champion? Personally, I don't think that fight should happen now. I think it's a fight that's in the pot and it let it stew a little longer. Um, I'm a massive fan of Adam Azim. I think he's a wonderful talent. Shane tells me he's the best fighter he's ever trained. And um, look, he's, he's brilliant. We've, we've seen flashes of, of, of wonderful stuff from Adam, but he's, uh, he's just learning. And uh, in my opinion, it's too soon for a fight with Dalton Smith. I think Dalton, uh, I've got a huge soft spot for Dalton. I went to see him this week before the fight or last week in Sheffield with Grant. And uh, I used to say to Eddie that Dalton in the amateurs was, was brilliant. And uh, he reminds me of a sort of young Ricky Hatton in many ways. He's got his feet on the ground. He's a, he's a great guy and I think he will become a world champion. I think they both will. So. Why now? Um, it's a little too soon for Adam, in my opinion. I'm not saying Adam couldn't beat him. I don't know who's going to win the fight. That's why it's, it's being talked about. Um, but I think Dalton's got probably more professional experience now. I think it's, it's just a risk Adam and team Azim don't really need to take. Um, as I say, he's a, he's a brilliant talent, but he's a, he's a gem that just needs to be polished a little bit more, I think. And Dalton's uh, just a step ahead of him down the professional road. And I think they'll go in slightly different routes. And it's all fun and games at the minute. But uh, yeah, Dalton Smith, I think, will become a world champion. I think Adam Azim will become a world champion. And I think they could be each other's dance partners for huge fights down the line. So. They say in boxing it's about levels and about timing. I think they're both going to be on the same sort of level. And I think the timing is not right now. I think the timing will be right you know, within the next year, year and a half maybe. And let's hope we get two or three of them. I've got to ask you, obviously, an article came out uh, in, in the papers earlier this week regarding Conor Ben. I uh, must emphasise it is rumours at the moment. There's nothing official that we've heard from the board or the UCAD. Looks like they've potentially won the appeal. Just your thoughts on the whole process over the last two years, the stain on boxing, you know, Connor's future, what this means and what could potentially happen down the line? I'll keep it brief because really I don't know the ins and out of, outs of it. That's up to the 
yeah, the drug testing commissions, the boards, um, the legal teams. Um, you know, what I do know is it is a shame, the whole thing. And um, you've got a young fighter who's had his career put sort of on hold, and certainly in Britain. Um, he claims he's innocent. He looked me in the eye and told me he, he didn't take anything. And, and you've got to take someone's word for it, I think. Uh, who knows what happened? Um, but Conor Ben goes on. He will become a and is already a, a name and a, and, a, and a great fighter. And um, it's just a real shame. There is no place for drugs in boxing, um, but it's a difficult one. I'm not involved legally. I'm not involved promotionally or anything else. Um, I've known Connor a long time and I was very surprised when it all happened. And yeah, it's been a very messy situation and I hope it, hopefully it'll, uh, it will all be, um, you know, all be long forgotten at some point soon and we can all move on. But uh, yeah, very difficult. No place for drugs in boxing, but Connor Ben looked me in the eye and said, he's totally innocent. And, um, you know, I hope he's, uh, I hope he's right and I hope his career's a, a great one, but uh, it's a difficult time for everybody. Adam, I've had the nudge, you need to go, appreciate your time. Hopefully see you after the fight on, on, on Sunday. Yeah, definitely, look forward to it. Thanks Adam, appreciate your time. I've got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.